from the earliest days have been on the cutting edge of image and sound innovation and they must remain an experience unlike any other helping us obtain better image contrast and greater color fidelity eclair color is a new digital high dynamic range hdr color technology that combines an innovative mastering process with the optimization of select projection system technologies already available on the market the significant advantages that eclair color provides are clearly visible to all which should greatly ease the adoption of this new technology by cinemas featuring images with more contrast and greater fidelity eclair color technology delivers the vision originally intended by the film's creative team the color range is much richer the gradient much more refined even in the darkest colors now to tell us more about this new revolutionary hdr solution please join me in welcoming on stage mr christoph fedol regional manager cinema next and humages group france let's have a huge round of applause and welcoming and welcome him on stage come on ladies and gentlemen Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you very much for inviting me here and, and having the chance to tell you a little bit about um, our group from Europe and the HDR solution that we have developed in-house. So let me see how I move on. I'll just give you a little bit of an overview on us, uh, our two divisions that we have within our group on exhibitor services and content services, and then I'll go into Eclair Color, our um, HD solution that we found. So Imagis is um, an exhibitor services group uh, from France. We are on the stock exchange in France. It was, uh, the company was found in 2007 by professionals from the motion picture and high-tech industry. Um, we have two divisions. One is Cinema Next, that's where I come from, where we are concentrating in exhibitor services, just as you have um, Scrabble and, and Cube here in India. So it's similar kind of business. Um, then we have Eclair, that's in Pros production. Uh, theatrical delivery, digital distribution, restoration and preservation. And then we have our group, our mother company, Imagis, where we handle about 6,000 VPF screens in Europe. So Cinema Next, we are an exhibitor service company. We are, just like you have in India, we are in 23 countries throughout Europe. We just started um, a business in the US and we will shortly start a company in, in Dubai. We are also in, in, in Northern um, Africa. So we are covering quite a lot of, of Europe and we have roughly about 25% market share. So on the projection side, we are selling Baco, Christie, NEC and Sony projectors. We are mainly selling Baco, Christie and Sony and a little bit of NEC. On the sound side, we are selling and installing Harman, QSC and um, a brand called MAG from, from Ukraine. And then we have all the 3D systems. We have our own TMS. We have a TMS that we've developed over the last five years. And this is running on 1500 screens throughout Europe. Um, yeah, we have NOC service. We are servicing about 7,000 screens where we have six different NOCs throughout Europe in for different languages. As you know, nearly every country has a different language, so we have to service this, this kind of structure. Um, yeah, and we, we were one of the first going through VPF, and with VPF we deployed about 6,500 screens throughout Europe. So Eclair 
is the second company of our group. Eclair has been around for more than 100 years. So Eclair was founded in, in 1907 in Paris. Um, they developed their own cameras, so if you're in the, in the production side and in the, in the artistic side of the business, you know the company for a while. Um, we have different divisions, so we do post-production. We do post-production not only for, for the cinema industry, but also for the TV industry. We're doing 4K post-production for, for Netflix and, and, and other customers. Um, we have the largest facility in, in France actually on restoration. We have more than, I think, a, a huge storage house where we have lots of 35 millimeter copies that we restore and, 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 and save for the industry. Yeah, and in 2016 we started, actually we started earlier, but in 2016 we brought our own HDR um, solution to the market. And I would like to tell you a little bit more on Eclair Color. We had a very good talk just half an hour ago from, from the colleague from Christy explaining you the difference between um, the standard we have now in cinema and HDR, the standard where we all believe cinema should move because cinema is losing a little bit against the quality that we're seeing on TV. You know, first we had TV, then we had cinema coming with the DCI norm. That was a step further. Now TV is sort of overtaking us again. So now we need to move along with cinema to, to come to this quality level as well. So we've done two years of research and then we started, um, we presented a clear color a little bit more than a year ago at a trade show in, in, in Barcelona. So. Um, it's a new digital color process combining post-production and the projection system set up. So you need to work in both, both parts of, 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 of the value chain. So you need to work on the, on, on the pro product and then you need a special environment for, for the play out of, of our HDR or any kind of HDR solution. So what is HDR? What does it bring to the audience? It has as we heard before in the Christie demonstration, we have a wider color gamut. So we're using more of the, of the color spectrum that, that is available for us, for the eye to see, and that we haven't really been using um, up till now in the, in the cinema technologies. We have a higher contrast ratio. We, uh, a usual um, DCB projector like this one in the back here has a contrast ratio of 1 to 2,000, 1 to 2, 4. Our contrast ratios that we, that the standard starts with is 1 to 5,000, 1 to 6,000. That means that you have a deeper blacks and you have more subtle whites. So you take the whole ratio of light and you take it further apart. Then we have better rendering of the details. Unfortunately, we can't show you an, an, a clear color demonstration because we don't have the setup here, but we'll show you a short video in the end and it shows a little bit, but you can see much more details in the picture. And this, this screenshot that we have here is, is from a movie that we have in our presentations all the time. We use, it shows the standard picture and then it shows in a split screen the Eclair Color. And then you can see um, a person moving from one end to another and you can see much more details. You can see the hair much better. Um, and for example, this, this shot here with the, with, the, with the smoke coming out of the plane, in the standard version you don't see the people in the back, but in the Eclair Color per version you can see the person in behind. So it's closer to what we see with our naked eye. And the black is more black than the, actually the gray that we have at the moment. It's, it's a dark gray, but it's not really black. So in the mastering, so we have two, two, as I said, we have two parts where we have to work on. The one part is the mastering process, where we, we have to do the, 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 the color grading better, and, and we have to go through the whole process. Um, of content either in our facility, at the moment we, have, we do it in our facility in, in France, but we are in talks with post-production houses in, in various countries um, to be able to also master in our standard. And it's not our 
policy that we want to go all over the world and have our own studios all over the world. We want to learn, we want to teach studios to be able to master in our Eclair Color standard. That's why we're also here in India to talk with cross production studios here in India and to explain them and to just to get in contact to them so that we will be ready to also approach this, this market here. Um, we don't do the remastering without the director because we don't want to fiddle around with the colors and it being totally different from, from what the idea is. So the director and the director of, of picture is always part of, 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 of the process and part of the team. So it's nothing, you know, we're developing somewhere and, and then showing it and it's not what people were thinking about. Um, so the best way to work is of course to, to be more or less on site during the filming and use the, the daily rush and to start working from this. If this doesn't work out, then we can, we want to have the, the, the digital cinema master, the DCM, and work on that. And the third option to, to also do the remastering is with a standard DCP. We've, we've done a few movies where we've just used um, DCPs and where we've actually remastered old movies that are a few years old. So this is the, the mastering process. In the cinema process, they, we also want to, to bring the quality out to, to the audience as, as, as good as possible. So there also have to be some, some, some changes to the environment or some definitions to the environment to make this come out. Um, first of all, we need a, a projector that has a higher contrast ratio. So at the moment, there is, um, unfortunately not here in India, but in Europe, um, there are quite a few installations of Sony 4K projectors. And as Sony has developed their own chip, it's not the Texas Instrument chip like the others have, they have a much higher contrast ratio. They have a contrast ratio of, of 8,000 to 1. And that helps very much um, our, our play out. Then, but Sony is the first with, 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 with a standard um, projector that we can use and we've been working with. But just now, um, Baco and Christie are also coming with projectors onto the market with a higher contrast ratio. We just, we have at the cube stand, we have the, the, the Baco 4K HLC projector that has a contrast ratio of 6,000 to one. And the Christie projector that we just learned about that is coming end of this year will also have um, a higher contrast ratio so it can play a clear color. And these um, companies, the Baco has been already confirmed. So it's, it's officially a clear color ready like the Sony is. And the Christie will also build shortly. So we're talking with Christie. So all the new projectors that are coming on the market um, with high contrast ratio will be able to play the content. Um, what we need is the standard DCP um, light requirements is 14, 11, 14 foot Lambert. For a clear color, we are aiming at 28 to 30 foot Lambert. So this means you need a much brighter picture, meaning you can't use the standard requirements. So you either you have a bigger projector or you have a double projection um, or you go to f for a smaller room to play a clear color for the time being. Um, we have um, various installations in Europe where we're not only using sing single projectors but we're also using um, double projection and we have one screen in, in Germany. It's actually a former IMAX screen with 30 meters, 90 feet and there we have a quad stack. So they've, they've actually installed four Sony projectors, two next to each other and two on top. And Sony had to really program their software to align this picture properly, but it's very nice and it's, it's, it's working very good and this is our premium Eclair Color screen, of course. So it's not only a small screen, it can also be a big screen. 
Um, yeah, something a little bit more on the on on the color grading. This is for for the for the production people. So it's in our facilities or or certified. Then it's based on the Academy ASIS workflow. It's the REC 2020 that we heard about. Um, the validation process has to be by the by director, and we are working from from the source master. So we're playing first-run movies, but also classical movies. And this is the, the, the theater requirements, as I said. So it's up to 25 meters widescreen. Yeah, we use widescreens with, again, up to 1.8. We don't want to go higher than 1.8. At the moment, we are working with, with the Claros um, screens, but we're also doing some analysis with, with, with Galilite as, as we've just grown are growing this relationship as we met them now. We need a dark room. We want a dark room. We want as little as reflection as possible because that can really spoil your your picture. We have some experience, you know, there's this Dolby Cinema and Dolby Vision that is is the ultimate solution, very expensive solution. And it's really a pity if you have your your green exit light just next to to the screen and that spoils the whole the whole picture. So we really try to go for a dark room um, and also a high transmitting porthole because we don't want to spoil um, going through the, the, the window. So this is the, the the status quo that we have at the moment. So we, uh, we have um, 97 screens in Europe for us, what has helped us a lot is that we are a company based in France. We have very good relationships in France. And France is actually one of the markets that is maybe a little bit similar to India, where you have about 50% um, local content. I know India it's 90% or, or something, but in the rest of Europe it's the other way around. It's 90% Hollywood content and very little local content. So being in, in France has helped us a lot to get the local production and, and, and local cinemas to, to, to invest in this, in this technology. But we've also been going to, to the States. We had two presentations in Hollywood um, to get Hollywood to be excited about our HDR solution. Oops. So um, we've got more or less one movie a week that we've deployed. That's quite good. It's good for, for especially for the screens in France. So because of course exhibitors they you know they don't want to invest in a new technology and then they don't have the content. But for for our our exhibitors in France they they can really be they've seen that on a weekly basis they get new movies. We are have a little bit more of a challenge in Germany where we have to get producers to, to start producing in, in HDR, but we just started in Germany two, three months ago. So this is the, the releases and the lineup is, is um, 45 movies um, that we've released, 42 in France, 9 in Germany, and we've had movies like La La Land that we've played in Eclair Color with very, very much success. Um, and it's up to our guys to, to find and to convince Hollywood to come up with some movies in Eclair Color and to, to push this whole rollout. So it's a little bit um, chicken and egg exercise that we have. You know, we have to, on the one side, we have to get the content, and on the other side, we have to get lots of screens so that the distributors really say, okay, I'll play in these screens. And our goal in Europe is to come to 150 screens this year, and we're quite positive that we'll get there. So we have a little bit, uh, we have some pre-show content that we can give to you if you have some interest. And now I will just finish my short presentation with a, with a video that we have created. Shows you a little bit the technology, but it's not the real setup that we should have. So you can... Play, please. Eclair Color is a new revolutionary color technology 
that allows today any cinema exhibitor to show much sharper and brighter images in the cinema. The Eclair color system brings a far superior image quality that anybody can enjoy. To give you an example, we start on a regular digital cinema projector with a contrast ratio between the brighter point and the darker point of about 1500 to 2000 to 1. With the Eclair color technology, we use um, something between seven and eight thousand to one. So that extra uh, contrast brings all the richness and the depth uh, to the picture to give you something much more immersive. Our first goal with Eclair Color is to bring a new projection technology to the market, but also to make it accessible for all cinema exhibitors. We have a set of specifications that will guarantee the director, the DOP, that the image that is validated in our mastering environment is the one that moviegoers will watch. Right from the start, cinemas have been on the cutting edge of innovation, both in terms of image and sound. The audience will experience much more emotion in the cinema. Thanks to Eclair Color, Cinema theatres will continue to provide the best experience. I just want to add two, two, two three points that, that I just thought about. Um, the business model, because it sounds exciting, sounds expensive, but it's not really expensive. So the approach that we have is, first they, they should meet the requirements. So we need the, the right projector and we don't, I mean, of course we sell projectors, but, but this is up to the exhibitor, whatever hardware he chooses. But if you have the right projector, you just need to do a, a software update. So this doesn't really cost anything. There's a technician coming on site and in a few hours it's, it's the, the software is installed and it's a clear color ready. And then it's, it's a pay by, by use model, meaning okay, you play your normal content and then you have this, I don't know, you have La La Land and it's available in Eclair Color and then you book it and then you just pay for this movie and it's a flat fee for the movie. Um, the model we have in Europe, let's see how we'll do it in other markets, it's, it's roughly for La La Land, for example, it would be $500 just to, to get the Eclair Color version versus the normal version. Or you can make a flat fee where some exhibitors have it in France where you where you book a clear color all year round, and then you get as many movies as you want, and there you pay a flat fee of, I don't know, $6,000 or something like that. So it's not an expensive solution. It's a solution that we, compared to, to Dolby Cinema, Dolby Cinema costs a million dollars. So that's why there are not a lot of screens around. Huh? So we want to, to sort of give the industry an alternative to play HDR, if of course their environment meets, meets the requirements and that has to be a high contrast ratio. That's actually the main, main thing. Okay, thank you very much.